afternoon and welcome to Upton Park, the home of West Ham United for today's Nationwide Division 1 game. West Ham United versus Preston North End. Preston North End, no Marlon Brooms, no Michael Jackson suspended. And no Eddie Lewis, unfortunately. Eddie Lewis is in America now. There's a, there's a family illness, so he's been given compassionate leave. So uh, let's hope everything's OK. And Eddie will soon be back with us. And a uh, bit of drama with Sergi Chris Lachetti. I'll just break off a minute. There's uh, Tyrone Mears, his first start since 27th of September, and that's a uh, away defeat at Walsall. He's in for the injured Marlon Bruins. But going back to the captain, uh, Chris Lachetti, he's had a, an injection before the match from the uh, West Ham doctor, Jez Steinberg. There was a phone call from Preston on Friday that would he do it because the uh, Preston doctor was away on holiday and no problem at all and great so uh, Chris has had a uh, painkilling injection on his broken toe which uh, well let's hope that he's got his shooting boots on today no problem in every other area of his game just that uh, he's found finding the back of the head rather hard this season but nobody can fault his work rate nobody can fault any of the Preston team's work rate Mascot, well for me, that's the man of the season so far, Brian O'Neill, scored in the 3-3 draw in the FA Cup last week, but uh, what a master of the midfield art is Brian, never gives anything away, there's a big man, Claude Davis, the absence of uh, Michael Jackson, suspended after being sent off at Stoke, but uh, no problems with the the big man there, slipping nicely next next door to the captain. And there's the, the man of the moment. I'm sure there's quite a few Premier Division managers now and coaches and scouts. Or the managers will have sent the coaches and scouts uh, to have a look at Ricardo. Well, he's got a problem somewhere. Well, if he's trying to find he's tuning in there, he can't get Radio Lancashire. He wants to uh, wants to listen to the match as he's playing. Some some problem with his. Uh, he stood there, so we'll soon get sorted out. In the horse, in the horse racing pile, as you can say, he's lost a plate. Paul McKenna, in the midfield dynamo, ready for action. It's uh, Preston to kick off, playing from left to right, and the team reads as follows. In goal, Jonathan Gould, two, Graham Alexander, 20, the captain is Chris Lachetti. Claude Davis at 22, 16, Paul McKenna, 19, Michael Keane, 11, David Healy, 25, Richard Cresswell, 24, Tyrone Mears, 9, Ricardo Fuller, and 3, Brian O'Neill. So it's Preston. Almost a full house here at uh, Upton Park. High up in the stand, so off we go. For that. Oof. It's a hard challenge on Fuller, but this is... Lucchetti trying to empty his, uh, his broken toe, looks OK. Well played forward. There's a, a bit of sparring going on. Defoe coming across. And we've got the uh, last touch. Well, after a glance at his uh, linesman, Mark Warren, the Walsall referee, gives a throw in to the, the home side. And it's Wayne Quinn, his near side. To Connolly, Quinn, down the line. Matthew Etheridge, oh, that's a solid challenge. That's another throw, so the ball is being kept on this near side. Quinn again, first time ball into the area. And, come on then, so Jonathan Gould, first feel of the ball and high kick, kick deep into the West Ham half. Ricardo Fuller beaten by the uh, West Ham captain, Daly. Kind of battling in there, but it's Carrick. Carrick again, first time ball down the line. Connolly. Thomas by McKenna, this is O'Neill. Down the line to Cresswell, it's a little too high for Richard. Stock, Stockdale with the throw. John Hutchison, very experienced player, Connolly. He closed down onto his right, right foot. 
O'Neill now under challenge. Oh, it's a good save by uh, Gould. He had to be sharp there, and Alexandra nicking the ball away, so it's a good start for the home side. Jonathan Gould brought into the action early on. Talking to by uh, Mr Warren. Graham Alexander. Wayne Quinn, good play by the number 14. And uh, Gould not really knowing who was behind him, punched it away and it's picked up by Michael Keane over on the far side. Intercepted by Stockdale. This is Hutchinson, looked like handball, but uh, play on says the man with the yellow flag. Connell in out. Oh, great work. Tremendous uh, bit of improvisation there from uh, big Claude Davis, making sure he had no handball. He kept his hands behind his back. Well, that's, that might be one for the coaching manual. Good bit of thinking by the big man. Gives away a corner. Pressing and uh, had much possession, if any, really, so far in the game. Headed out by Gresswell. That's a uh, corner. The man with the yellow flag over there is uh, Irving Woodward from Sussex. This near side is Greg Prime from Essex. So we we'll the set down here. Oh, it's going to be an in swinging corner this time. A lot of bodies around the, the penalty spot. Bobbling around at the moment, in the end, it's Davis with the clearance. The ball now to run out by uh, Ed Mullins. And Pardew in the, in the box there, the relatively new West Ham manager. West Ham relegated last season, but uh, everybody's favourite to go right back up, and it looked that way when they played at Deepdale in the first game, and that was a good challenge. Or on the far side, Key putting a foot in there. Hutchinson, first time volley towards the head, cleared by Alexander. Fuller now, good play by Ricardo Fuller. Played out to Healy, Healy on target. The, uh, well, I don't know what colour of air you call that, but uh, the England keeper David James took it comfortably by his near post, but that was a Good break by Ricardo Fuller, the City Fall. Ian Pierce. Intercepted by Davis. Fuller. Up by to Gresswell. Gresswell taking on Stockdale inside the area. And a good block by the the West Ham defender, so it's a corner. This end now. A good challenge by the number 20, seems to have a little bit of a problem with his back, but uh, corner. David Ely, swing it in. No, and it's hammered away by Stockdale. It's gone higher than it's gone farther. Taylor would help, help him back. Man from uh, Forest. At the moment, West Ham are finding it hard to uh, get the ball away. It's Preston still pushing forward. It's Lachetti showing no sign of any damage to his foot. Plays it to Alexander. Good ball to Cresswell. Cresswell now chance. Oh, it's scuffled away once again. Great work from Cresswell, Ricardo Fuller coming on the day post, and that was hooked away by the number 19, Ian Pearce. Uh, unlucky there for Richard. Great work, so it's David Healy now with a corner on this side, this near side. And right out, back in, McKenna. Keen plays a ball in, Fuller beaten by Daly, Hutchison. Yeah, 
using his strength against Davis. Well, James did come for it. As well, Oof. and it's good pressure here from uh, Preston. Well, three corners in uh, quick succession, putting pressure on the home side. Chance at both ends it's, uh, at the moment. Both goals stay intact as David Ealer will swing this ball in with his right foot. Low again, easily dealt with. That's Alexander. Daly with the header away. Back in by McKenna. Alexander out wide to Cresswell. Quinn, good challenge by Quinn, but Cresswell comes away with it. Good work by Richard Cresswell. Preston played this ball around well, not giving it away. Good possession. McKenna. Played in. Jans for Lacetti. And that was Hutchinson to the rescue. Great work, Chris Lacetti. He's playing well forward. He's not gone back yet. Well, at the moment, Big Chris is playing more as a, as a, uh, as a forward as Preston have really weathered that early storm from West Ham and forcing the pace. Comfortable take by David James. And we're up to. Uh... Oh, there we do. I called uh, Mr. Defoe, but uh, actually Defoe's not playing today. Ooh, a chance. And that was Mears and Gould getting the ball away from the dangerous David Connolly. Good work by Tyrone Mears. Give David Conley too many chances. Mullins. And wide to Harewood. Matthew Edmonton not seen too much of the ball since the opening stages. That's good work by Carrick in the centre circle, beat by McKenna. But Edmonton now turns. But Alexander was on him quickly. Here's O'Neill. Calmly playing the ball out down the line, but skimming away, always curling away from uh, Ricardo Fuller through to David James. West Ham starting from their own penalty area. Daly. 40, 46 Scottish caps. And a couple of ex Blackburn players in the West Ham ranks as Cresswell. Back to O'Neill, first time ball. To Cresswell, Woof tries to flick it on, claim the round ball, but uh, offside given. It's it. And now putting the pressure on Carrick. James, long kick, headed on by Harewood. That goes straight through to Jonathan Gould, who had to be uh, smart in the first couple of moments to parry that shot away. to find it quite hard to uh, put things together here at Upton Park. The moment they're uh, one player's head of Preston in seventh position, 41 points. Preston's same number of games are eight with 40 points. So important game for both teams, and that was a foul on uh, David Healy. Game of the season where uh, Western entertained West, West Ham. Eddie Lewis must have scored the fastest goal of the day after two minutes, but then uh, goals from Defoe. And then David Connolly came on, the sub, and scored in his debut, and that's a chance! And well, that was so lucky. Brian O'Neill, and he's entered that ball, which uh, could direct it 
just inside the far post and nobody was coming in, but that was a great effort from Brian O'Neill. And again, the uh, home defence was found wanting. David James with the kick. Never brought so far this season. But, uh, Connolly taking on Mays, but ooh, thankfully for pressing the ball, just went away from Connolly and Keane mopping up at the back, flicked on by O'Neill. This challenge but falls kindly for Alexander outside of his foot, intercepted by Dale. Well, the game is settled now. Both teams had good spells, but uh, more even at the moment, that's up to you soon. To Harewood. Connolly. Mullins. Good challenge by Graham. Graham Alexander. There's no prisoners being taken there as uh, McKenna puts uh, Etherington down. It's a free kick given by uh, Mr Warren. We noted that uh, Matt Wellington is one of the uh, dainty men of uh, West Ham, bought from Spurs. Originally uh, started his career with Peter Burrett. Spurs and a loan spell with Bradford City. But, uh, no regular in the West Ham side. It's throwing on the far side and coming to it by uh, Michael Keane. Quick word with Mr Woodward. Too high for Cresswell. And we almost got over Pierce, but uh, Ealing gets follow through. A chance for Fuller now. On that first shot, just let him down. James spread himself. The ball's still in play. And still with Ricardo Fuller. But in the end, he's crowded out. Falls for Cresswell. Cresswell puts a shot in. Ooh, not too far away. Cresswell holding his head. Just can't believe it that uh, he didn't hit the target. But unfortunately, that's the way Richard uh, sees it's going so far. Ricardo Fuller there was so unlucky. Annoyed with himself, I'm sure he's. He's sure that he should have uh, done better with it. And the form he's been showing, I think we'd have to agree with him. He scored uh, twice against Reading last week. James, the saviour of West Ham, a few moments ago with that uh, save where he spread himself. Like a shot by uh, Pierce. to the water, but, uh, certainly deserves his place in the England setup. A reliable keeper now, and that ball goes through to uh, Preston's keeper, Jonathan Gould. Right down the pitch. Oh, greatly better than McKenna. This is Ealer. 
Alexander wants it, gets it. Good play by uh, Mullins on this day, great footwork, but uh, he's adjusted been fouled by Paul McKenna and uh, good size now, Paul's gone a little bit sharply, or that, or rather that, but uh, a good challenge, not so, says Mr Warren. Foot in there, well, good work by Connolly. Hutchinson down the line. Uh, we're putting the challenge on uh, Lucchetti. Same, trying to claim a corner. It's a needle, needle eyed assistant on the far side, pointed to the six yard box. We must have um, only lost. Uh, Times at all. West Brom stroke um, beaten on Boxing Day by uh, Ipswich. Again, to the lines. A little room now. Oof, until uh, he was met by Lucchetti, who took a knock, but quickly gets up. Ely taking that challenge, finding Cresswell. Cresswell with uh, Keane on his outside. That's McKenna, this is good work by Preston, James, and that's a comfortable take once again by the, the big six foot four England keeper. And it's a break now. Matthew Etherington showing his pace, ball through, Connolly! Well, Connolly putting West Ham in the front, and that was a great break, and that's how simple it is in football. Under pressure one minute, and then a good break, and a great ball in by Matthew Etherington. David Connolly, his eighth goal of the season, scored his 100th goal at, uh, against Burnley on the 18th of October, and he's not scored since, but there he is now, putting his side in, in the lead. And after that uh, great pressure, well, as the great Brian Clough says, he only won a few seconds to uh, score, and it proved it there. A good break from West Ham. And they take the lead by one goal to nil. There we go. And it's again. The last thing I want to see is this guy running. Ooh, well, that was a good interception. But to offside. The flag went up as soon as uh, Etherington knocked that ball forward. Craig Brown and Billy Davis will be making sure that uh, Etherington gets uh, tightened up on this near touch line. Centre of the goal. Looking up to take it. Healy. Oof! Well, what a great effort. From David Healy, and that's the confidence of the little man. And it took a smart save from uh, James, David James, to uh, pluck that out from the top corner. The right hand side, that was a great effort from David Ealy and almost uh, an instant repost from Preston. But it's Ricardo Fuller now once again taking the West Ham defence on. Found one too many. Alexander wide to Cresswell and it's intercepted by uh, Robbie Stockdale into touch. Two 
brings it forward. Oh, good control by Fuller. Daly on his back once again, and certainly West Ham have done their own work, and as soon as Fuller gets it, he's getting crowded out, he's trying to claim that he was uh, pulled down there, so it's... As he's listening to the latest scores, I don't know, on his uh, new radio, on his, on his boots, but... Uh, Ricardo, they're going to up a little bit... Uh, carefully then, and that's... Paul Davis coolly letting the ball go out for a goal kick, under pressure from uh, Marlon Harewood, recently signed from Notts Forest. Notts Forest wanting the, uh, the money, although he too far away, born in Hampstead. Already have scored uh, four times for his new club. Cresswell, ooh, unlucky. Good work from uh, Stock, Stockdale. And Ketty. Oh, well, I don't think uh, volume is, is John's uh, favourite pastime. He's put under pressure there from Michael Keane. Carrick puts it forward. Davis, oh, good work by Claude Davis. Picked up by Etherington. Through to Airwood, edge of the box, might try a shot, but it blocked out. Good work by McKenna, this is O'Neill. Waiting his turn, once again Daly. Back, uh, a rush on, Fuller's back. Christian Daly taking his time. with the header, Cresswell. And that was Pierce getting in front of Fuller. That's going to be uh, a throw in for Preston, coming off the head of uh, Connolly, scorer of the West Ham goal. Watch us see. Into touch. South African. So it's nice to see uh, George, Big George back with us as he's uh, he's not scored uh, three times in his de in his ten games last season for Preston, but then got that injury. But here he is now back in contention. Oh, his subs, his Hutchinson now edge of the box, clips it forward. Lucchetti with the header. Carrick puts a shot in. Well, he's forced to uh, make it there, but. Uh, Carrick, good effort there from Michael Carrick, still only 22, he don't realise he's, he's seems to have been in the West Ham team for so, so many years, he's, uh, he's come through the ranks. Lost his, uh, his mate, midfield mate, Joe Cole, to the uh, millionaires just up the road, Chelsea. It's a foul by Hutchison. of his goal to take this, this free kick. This gloomy, dull January day. Pierce. Oof. Foul by uh, O'Neill. To the back of uh, Carrick. So, well, it's, uh, stop start football. Pierce has slapped me a little bit, so it's certainly been an end to end game. Interesting, some good football. And uh, on play, probably Preston unlucky to be that goal down, but uh, just showing you how simple 
and how easy it is to score a goal. Right from their own penalty area. So let's see if Michael Keane can start one off. Down the line, headed on by Fuller to Cresswell. Stockdale with him, Cresswell, edge of the area. Dropped by Stockdale, good, uh, good defending by Robbie Stockdale. Next Borough, it's on loan to Sheffield Wednesday. A few under-21 Scottish caps to his name. And then he was getting the better of Richard Cresswell. This is Graham Alexander, another Scotchman with a, a few caps. And the Northern Ireland international. But this is Mullins. Oh, challenged by McKenna. Another clumsy challenge. This time Michael Keane. So I think with some of the uh, clumsy challenges that's going on all around the, the park, I would think that uh, Mike Warren will be getting his card out shortly. Going on to the last two substitutes at Preston. Number seven, Lee Cartwright. 18, Pavel Abbott. So a good uh, selection there for... Craig Brown to change it to see how the game goes. It's away. Fuller. McKenna. And that's uh, another foul. Well, everybody's uh, nobody's got any time to dwell on the ball at all. It's another solid challenge. It sweeps the ball into touch on this near side. to uh, concentrate and think. Healy. There's a corner spinning off the foot of uh, Wayne Quinn. Great crowd here at uh, to Park. Substitutes for uh, West Ham, Stephen Bywater, the keeper, Kevin Horlock, Neil Meller, Anton Ferdinand, the uh, younger brother of Rio Ferdinand, and the old man himself, Brian Dean, another one that's uh, doing his lot. He's uh, scored for uh, four goals. And if you wanted to know who scored the first goal at the New Walker Stadium, the home of Leicester City, yeah, it was Brian Dean. Two goals, two opening goals, the uh, new stadium, and play on, says Mr Warren. This is Carrick. On the line for Hale. Davis with him. And the uh, long right, very good. Claude puts it to touch. Although he believed that he touched Harewood for at last. Harewood again. James. So does Davis and gets the ball off him. Great work by Claude Davis. So the ball still stays in. And then another foul. So a free kick. This near touch line. Wayne Quinn getting some instruction from his manager. Staying up, trying to get Mullins through, but uh, very much too hard for the midfielder. So Jonathan Gould, serious looking now, will uh, take the kick. Didn't do nothing about the goal, it was uh, done so clinically. Best well with the header. Davis, best well, missed it, so. Stop there with the throw, it's a 10. Connolly does well, but uh, he will put it back to do quickly off his line. Hammers it upfield towards Cresswell. So, oh, Cresswell does so well to keep it in. Hooked away by Pierce. O'Neill. Great ball to Fuller. 
McKenna. Fuller. Good possession by Preston. Cresswell looking up fast. Far touchline, taking on Stock Stockdale, but once again the fullback does well. Hutchison. Another uh, throw to the home side. and hook it towards Fuller, battling with Pierce. He was going across to put the pressure on. Can it? Good control. Dig themselves once again. Davis, quickly on Howard. Stop there. That's uh, went off Davis, so it's another throw to West Ham. The game's having little patches of. Uh, should we say to what it has been doing a little bit of board and it's slowing down with the ball going out of play and fouls being given. Hutchison flicks it on. Davis once again hooks it away from Howard. Certainly stop the other you know how to take throw-ins after this game. Oof. Davis, oh brilliant footwork by the big man. Finds Cresswell. It's, uh, Alexander now to McKenna. Great work, was he offside? Yeah, just didn't come through quick enough for that. Good movement by Ricardo Fuller. Saw the space, it's a bit tight. Look at the linesman on this near side. Mr Prime, but uh, I don't think he can really argue with it. James preparing to take this. Sequence balanced up. Got it. The ball bobbing around the uh, Preston penalty. Once again, Davis can't be back to Gould. The dispatches up to the halfway line. A little bit of wrestling there. It's a free kick given to West Ham. Through the middle, but uh, not a good clearance. Also, not the best of passes for Ricardo Fuller. Mike looking to Cresswell. That's it, first time. Nobody on this far post, much too narrow, nobody wide. Now, doing a little bit of wondering about the started the, uh, the game on this near side to get some width. A lot of width over on the far side with Richard Cresswell in that far touch line when, when required. Ball into the area, no problem at all. Davis, great line. Cannot be pressured by McKenna. Pressure work by Preston, forcing the ball back to James. Thank you. 
good challenge. Presswell, Healy in the centre circle. Alexander going forward, gets it off Healy. McKenna, who's intercepted by Mullins. It's West Ham now in possession. Edmonton. And um, yeah, the patience of uh, Mr. Warren has finally slapped, snapped. Rev Alexandra. A few words with Mr. Warren, but uh, he's already made his mind up. Yeah. David Ealy's name. Going into the book, the yellow card shown. So it's not going to be a frustrating day for, for David. First booking of the match. Mullins puts it back into the area. Mears with the header. Davis climbs higher than anybody, gets the ball away. Alexandra, McKenna. And uh, Preston once again come away with it. Fuller. Just one touch too many. Quinn finds Mullen. Good defended by West Ham. Edmonton. Alexandra nicks the ball away from him. Michael Keane, the uh, 
bustling little midfielder. Hutchison, who uh, won't give anything away to uh, tremendous characters. Start with Hartlepool, the spell at Liverpool. This is his second spell, actually, with uh, West Ham. Sheffield, Sheffield United, Everton, Sunderland. His other teams, and now he's back in his second spell with uh, the Amos. Five minutes. Stress well now. So they're on the by three West Ham players. Carrick down the line to Harewood. Once again, Davis never far away from him. Although Harewood puts a good challenge on the, the big central defender. And that's Tyrone Mears taking a tumble. He picks it up and rolls it to uh, to Quinn. Alexander quickly on to Etherington. Quinn challenged out of it by Alexander. Fuller now on the ball, but uh, Quinn recovers and puts the ball into touch for a corner on this near side. minutes away from half time. Western trailing by that David Connolly goal, but uh, they've certainly more than held their own and really on chances probably shouldn't be behind. Graham Alexander with the corner. Cresswell once again, no problem for David James. Good header from Richard Cresswell, but no real direct directions. James finds Harewood on the far side. Davis, Hutchison, two pounds. Hutchison goes down, that's a good run by uh, Don Hutchison. But uh, maybe in his younger days, not anymore, gets a, a bit of stick there from the supporters. Uh, second 45 minutes, one or two little adjustments, so I would think 
from Craig Brown could uh, make all the difference. So it's a team score for Upton Park, it's West Ham United 1, Preston North End 0. There we are at the start of the second half. No, uh, no changes in the lineup. Both managers quite happy the way things are going. He's happy as uh, Lampard, he was looking to try and uh, get his uh, own record in tune. So Mr Warren checks his, his watch. It's West Ham. Uh, from left to right to start the second half. Yes. box, Mears came out of the defence and, and blocked his intended cross, but uh, Mullins to Pierce, puts it forward, flicked on by Harewood, can't get directed to David Connolly, so it's easily gathered by Jonathan Goodwin, and throws out wide to Healy, back to Alexander, Fuller, Mullins, West Ham, it's the first half, keeping good early possession. Stockdale. Hutchison flicks it on. Mears. Pushed off a little bit, and the ball goes up for a throw on this near side. From Hutchison. Connolly, the scorer. To Mullins. Mullins now tries a shot, but oh, great block by Davis. Flicked on by O'Neill, but given away. Carrick. Hutchinson. And this is a good start to the second half by uh, West Ham, but it was a good challenge for Cresswell. It's O'Neill now trying to get full away on the halfway line. And, uh, Ricardo Fuller wanted advantage play there by Mr Warren, although he didn't have a lot of support. It's a free kick given. Alexander to Fuller. More foul this time as Fuller once again hits the deck. Mercer is uh, his right ankle. The ball sportingly put out of play. Oh, and his wireless is broke. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Ricardo is. Alexander snatches up the boot. Ricardo for Rosie Blair at uh, the referee. And uh, Andrew Baller Stortley. Trainer comes off. I'm sure they won't long before. Ricardo's up and running. There's a late challenge. Repaired. Signal from uh, Andrew Ball has shown that everything's okay. The, uh, top striker, 14 goals, 14 league, 4 cup. And watched by uh, quite a lot of the big clubs, Premier Clubs, links off. So, I'm sure it'll be a okay. Touch. That would be a goal kick for West Ham. Still. It's not looking good for the Prestons. Instant replay. So, again, we start with a, a goal kick at centre our left. That's one. Pierce, Pierce, puts it over his right shoulder. Aaron pulls it down. O'Neill. It's 
strong play by uh, Marlon Airwood. Goes inside to Carrick. Carrick keeping control. Edmonton. Got Quinn going on his outside. He comes back on the inside. Edge of the air. He might try a shot. Ooh, and that didn't go too far away. Wasn't too far from the target. Matthew uh, Edmonton. Putting that shot in. Good effort there from the uh, number 12. Davis. To his right foot. To Lewis. Alexander clips it down the line for Fuller. Looking uh, A OK. This time he takes the uh, foul off. Bailey, who claims his innocence. It's uh, Mr. Prime from Essex. Back to the attention of Mr. Warrington up to challenge, so it's free kick. We take by Graham Alexander. No, not yet. Everybody's in the uh, West Ham penalty and played in. Westwood with the header. Came in late, but uh, Forrester couldn't steer it down. So we have another free kick on a miss. And James is still intact. Did well to away by O'Neill. Mears with a header. Carrick keeps it alive for West Ham. Edrington on that far side. Coming inside onto his right foot. Mullins to 1 2. Edrington using his speed, but unfortunately, he ran out of the ground. So the ball goes up for a goal kick. And that was a smart play from uh, Edrington. Showing his pace. Follow with the header. Pierce with the clearance. Let's hope the old fans can uh, sense some something from this game today. Certainly the, uh, the confidence and the uh, spirit of Preston. You can never write them off. That was a diving header from uh, Crystal Ketty, the captain. That was Mullins winning the ball off uh, Keane. Hutchison inside the centre circle. Side foots to Harry. Good turn by uh, Harry. Bonham stretch it into the box. This is a good spell by West Ham. Ball played in, but terrible ball for Hutchinson and not uh, a terrible clearance by Mears. Throw it quickly to him. Uh, clever bit of play there from uh, Marlon Harewood. Winning a corner off uh, Claude Davis. This is Michael Carrick. Ooh, which is coming in late, just can't stretch enough. Healy hooks it away from danger. McKenna chasing a lost cause. Mullins was picked up by O'Neill and a good challenge from Ed Mullins. And Mr Warren points the direction of uh, 
direction of West Ham for the throw. Mullins again. Good play by uh, Real Mullins anyway. To Cresswell. Once again, Cresswell hustled out of it. Oof, there's Airwood again, but uh, Davis didn't fall for it that time. But, uh, the key could go into the book, although that looked like a bad decision by uh, Mark Warren. He was big clawed. Six foot four of the man, he couldn't get out of the way. It's the, it was improvisation from Marlon Harewood, really, that uh, won the foul. But <laughs> My good smile on the face of Claude Davis. I can't believe it, and uh, it is a little bit hard that to believe. I don't think Big Claude will lose much sleep about that tonight. As he ambles back to take his position at central defence, it's ball played in. The county read it well, allows it to go out. The goal kick. Preston are going to win this one, they're going to break the, uh, the sequence in their three away wins so far this season. They've all been 1 0 victories at Knox Forest, Bill Wall, and Gillingham. They've beaten in the last six, the last time they uh, suffered defeat was uh, Ramal Lane against Sheffield United at the end of November. And they find themselves just outside the, uh, the player position. This is David Ealy. Too far forward for Alice. Oh, would he have got it if he'd have... May have set off that split second early, but dead easy sat up here. So it's Quinn. To take the throw down the line. The Ketty with the header. Fuller. Oh, robbed by Quinn. Can it good control. Follows it forward. Found Connolly, but Davis <laughs> got you. But, uh, he spoiled his good work at one end of the pitch by playing it too far forward, and it's a simple catch for David James. Ball from James. Hutchison working well with Harry. Keeping the ball away from Davis. Hutchison. Shirts around it, uh, West Ham come away with it. Stop there. Bullens. There we go. Connolly, edge of the box, turns. Goes down. Well, that wasn't too far away from Mullins. But, uh, didn't really get all of it. Dead Mullins. The chance there for West Ham. Midfielder coming. A good game here, Ed Mullins. It's Crystal Palace play, and uh, here he is, the big man, George Kuman Tarakis. So glad to be uh, playing back. The, uh, I certainly want to uh, keep his name on the uh, team sheet from now on. He's right into it. He's playing. Uh, down the middle, knew some height, then it was Michael Keane that came off. Presswell, and the pressure on stop there, but a uh, long, long, long player lets the ball run out. Turn of Ballard now, but uh, yeah, he wins a free kick. Claude uh, Davis will have to be careful. He's already got in the referee's note, but a little bit unluckily, I thought. But uh, to be careful with those types of uh, late challenges, clumsy challenges. Michael Carrick. Most has gone to the end. 
play the sense of the way solidly. First time to Pierce by Edmonton who receives the ball back up Pierce. Right on that far side. Ball driven in. There's Pierce. O'Neill. Good defended by Preston, but West Ham still in possession. This is Carrick might try a shot. Well, the ball whistles into the crowd, that wasn't too far away. Good effort from Michael Carrick after some good possession from the home side. Fuller's favourite uh, spots that. It's, uh, it's the last time he took a bet and then he limps away from that confrontation as Alexander takes that ball quickly. And there was Lucchetti with the header. Straight into the hands of David James, who wants to play a quick ball forward. And in the end, rolls it short without to stop there. Let me see Connolly found an end to. This is Connolly now with a chance. Mears with him, oh, great block by uh, Tyrone Mears. Spins off the defender, that was great defending from Tyrone Mears. Didn't see too much first-team action, but uh, he was sharp there to stop that David Connolly shot from going goal-bound. Jonathan Gould diving across his goal, but uh, not now to concentrate on this corner. Well, that's an easy take for him. Keeper. <laughs> and Rafa had uh, gone up to soon. Fancy a bit of humour into the game. Healy. Inside to Fuller. Oof. It seemed a bit of a shoulder in the face of Ricardo Fuller. Not sure whether it's intentional, but uh, went unnoticed by the officials. McKenna to Alexander. Flicks on by Healy. Daly. Etherington. And once again, West Ham playing the way out of danger. This is good football, but a little bit too fancy there from Connolly. Tarakis. They play forward. Hoops away by Daly. As far as McKenna. Pressure from Preston. Fell. Ryan O'Neill wants to uh, take a quick kick. And I think uh, Marlon Harewood is going to go into the boot for not retiring 10 yards. Another card shot. Mr. Warren. Not the 10 yards out. Alexander put a telling ball into the area. Well, if somebody's got measles in that penalty area, they're all going to have it after the game because they're that close to each other. Alexander puts the ball in. Lucchetti with the FNZ! Ricardo Fuller, yes! Great work from uh, Chris Lucchetti. And Ricardo Fuller gets his 15th goal of the season. Well, he's had a lot of bump banging, a lot of bumping, and a few minutes ago, you might have thought that uh, we weren't going to see any more of Fulham. He's doing a little dance with the Claude Davis celebrating that goal. That's the frustration of the man. He's been frustrated. There's the pressure fans in front of his loyal fans. A tremendous amount of travel to London. I would think that a lot of them will be going down to Reading on Tuesday for the cup replay. But here at Upton Park, Ricardo Fuller with his 15th goal of the season puts Preston North End level. Everything to play for. And there's Fuller, battling once again for the ball and winning the free kick. Mr. Warren wants it taken from the uh, spot where uh, 
defence was committed. Now then, are we going to have a scenario opposite to uh, the one that happened at Deepdale where Preston took the lead, but then in the end we're beaten 2-1, it's, it's one all. As McKenna tries to win a throw, but puts it into touch himself. That's certainly quite the... Uh, the home, home fans, Preston fans singing to our left. Connolly. Pushed in the back by Mears. So Fullett takes his, his tally to 15. And that was uh, Preston's 40th goal of the season. That was Dresswell with a foul in the, uh, in the area. Scored 40, conceded 31. But then yeah, we'll see uh, which team is going to come out on top who's got the uh, that nerve. That's one with a header. Rollins goes out to O'Neill. Great little flick by O'Neill. This is Dresswell on his near touch line. It's fell by Hutchinson, but it went to a nasty one. It's just a little bit mistimed. It's thankfully Mr. Warren red right, so it's uh, O'Neill. This, this near touch line. It's a ball in wide. Once again, one by Lucchetti. Fuller battling for it. Oh, and a great save by James. Fuller throws it dead back, but uh, he didn't do anything wrong, Ricardo. It's, the, uh, the quality of maybe James has a right, right look and a smile at the keeper. How did he save that? But Ted Road to corner. Graham Alexander. Healy. And it's there! By David Healy. His eighth goal of the season. And within three minutes, Preston have gone from 1 0 down to 2 1 up. Healy. Taking the applause of the fans, a great strike. Well, he reacted quicker than anybody else from that low corner from uh, Graham Alexander. And there's the Preston fans. Well, they're telling the home fans now what it's all about. Revenge is sweet. Let's hope it stays that way. And that's uh, 67 minutes. David Ely with his eighth goal of the season makes it 2 1 for Preston North End. McKenna puts it away. James. Well, you may question the uh, England keeper there. He's caught out on his near post. Might have got a slight deflection off a defender, but uh, David Ealy quite rightly claiming it. But the ball immediately switched to the end to our right. Good tracking back by uh, Cresswell as uh, Stockdale goes down. Stockdale has a look at the uh, assistant lines, uh, the lines with nothing given. Matarakis there, good skill from the big South African. It's Mullins coming away with the ball, knocks it forward. He just gets in front of Connolly, looks away by uh, Alexander. Well, two goals and two assists from uh, Graham Alexander. His free kick was instrumental to uh, follow his goal, the equaliser, and then the corner. Go to have a uh, substitution. And it's uh, Hutchison coming off, making way for Brian Dean. Uh, 35 year old Brian Dean. Very experienced player. He comes on now to uh, try and put a bit of boost into the forward line. I'm sure uh, Alan Pardy will ask him to play. Ball forward, and that is into action right away. Connolly, the score of the West Ham goal, being forced back. An interception by McKenna. He's either finding Cresswell. Inside the area, chance for Cresswell now. Oh, it is the bar. What a great effort. Tremendous effort there from Richard Cresswell. And look at his face. Well, 
this time last year, that would have flew in. Yeah, what have I got to do? Everybody wishing Richards could find the back of the net, but that's his only little flaw in his game. He has a wry look. So. Not sure what's... Uh, not been able to, it was a deflection, so he did get a deflection. The full of shot was deflected into the side netting, but uh, so unlucky. Richard Cresswell beating David James, but striking the other side of the crossbar. And Goodman, Tarakas getting in front there, but uh, just couldn't guide it down. The, there he is. So glad to be playing back. And the Preston fans, so glad to see him. And that gives Greg Brown so many different formulas now that the big man's back. Cresswell. Trying to find McKenna, Airwood, Davis, good control to Cresswell. Cresswell taking on Stockdale, Stockdale held his round. Carrick trying to find Dean, puts Lucchetti under pressure, he does well. Healy helping back in defence, playing more, with a bit more deeper, all his hand as well. On the amateur parks, to shout taxi when that happens. What this is, Graham Alexander carrying forward. McKenna tries to get him back. And it's on another corner, yeah. Well, certainly, when Preston go foraging forward like they have done on many occasions here at the Park, the home defence haven't looked too, uh, too comfortable. Good surging run there from Graham Alexander. Now, can he make it a hat trick of assists? Is with the corner, deeper this time, to, to Richard Cresswell, that's James with the overhead punch getting it away, and as far as McKenna, McKenna wide to Graham Alexander, good first touch, knocks it in again, that's Dean helping out, Cresswell puts a shot in, oh it's a pause, oh dear, well if you could put all the hard luck, <laughs> Somebody up there doesn't like Richard. And I think that's why uh, Craig Brown keeps the faith in him. It's just so unlucky. Rob, by the woodwork in the last couple of minutes of two goals, and there have been two superb goals. He's done nothing wrong, but uh, last year he was a leading scorer, 16 goals. So far this season, he's only managed two. But I think if he could look back on the, all the chances. All the unluckiness he's had, I'm sure Richard would have been in double figures, but there on, I'm sure he'll, he'll carry on. Mr. Warren coming over now. To have worked with his, uh, his assistant. Oh dear, it's the book coming out again. Who's it going to be this time? He can't let me this time, so. Sean. Only 20 years old, only, only lad really being pushed away by the experienced Brian O'Neill. Don't, don't argue with the ref, you've been, you've been booked. Seven bookings. Five to, to Preston. And, uh, two to the home side. Anymore, I might get booked. Anyway, it's Brian O'Neill to, uh, to take the kick. It's Brian Dean ten, uh, 10 yards away. Good jump by Fuller. Okay. Fuller onto his chest. Returned by Mike Wayne. Pushed and pulled about. Yeah. Spotted by the, the referee. 
Should I know that? Uh, 16 minutes of the game left. Approximately it's Alexander with the kick set up by Daly. And it's a rub by Fuller. Fuller now. Coming to touch. And there's the Preston fans again. Applauding their hero. He just can't do anything wrong. And, uh, well, there's a chance that he could uh, he could win the Premiership with with the North End, but uh, no substitution being made. Anton Ferdinand now, the younger brother of uh, the Man United star, started his career at West Ham. Rio Ferdinand as uh, Preston with the uh, throwing on the far side. Deep now, he's playing like a sweeper, so Preston have changed the tactics to keep all of this 2-1 lead. Down the line. Daly. Looks it forward. Dean. Keeps it in. Uh, no, didn't quite give it in, so it's throwing down the line. Even to Rakis with the header. Daly back to his keeper, David James. Pressure from Ricardo Fuller, forcing the West Ham captain to put it into touch. You can feel the frustration coming through the, the home fans now. It's Fuller by that far corner flag. Takes a, a knock off Ferdinand and gets a, a rollicking off Etherington and the, the two youngest there having to go up Ricardo Fuller. Alexander does good. Good work there from Graham Allen, he's had a ton of his uh, save so keep quiet. Now, Mark Warren wants to work with him and uh, got to be careful. Ricardo Fuller don't want to spot his good work by uh, in another one to go into the uh, referee's boot. Let's hope he hears the warning as he trots towards the six yard box to take this uh, free kick from Alexander. It's headed out by Dean. Mullins, carried, being trapped by Healy, down the line, and there's O'Neill, humping it into the crowd as Edmonton was putting the pressure on, with the take throw to uh, Carrick, Ferdinand, and that's a uh, challenge by Fuller on Ferdinand, I think, well, he's had a warning, for Fuller looks away, He's, he's had more than enough warnings as uh, Ricardo follows, so another Preston player that goes in the book, he smiles about it, but uh, he was given more than enough warnings. So it's a free kick over on the far side. Good men. Mullins. Good turn by uh, Ed Mullins. Great interception by uh, Lucchetti, hammered away by Alexander for Fuller. There's Ferdinand pushing him down as if he wasn't there, so Ferdinand striding forward. Davis, Cresswell, oh, great work by Richard Cresswell, but uh, Carrick comes across and uh, plays it back to David James.
Alexander. Coming to Rakis. Well. Well, that work is the top of uh, Paul McKenna. Stockdale to uh, take the throw. Well, 28,700 here at uh, Upton Park. And I think it's the minority that's going to go home the happiest. They've got a longer journey. But uh, the way it's going. So Preston can hold on here. Preston with this man playing there at the back. It makes, it makes football look so easy, does Brian O'Neill. Stop down there, looking up for some options. How is it forward? Lecatia, great header. Mullins. Pull back. And a free kick given away there by David Ealy. So Craig Brown won't be too happy about that. Don't give anything away. Danger areas. Everybody back to defend this free kick. Etherington to put it in with his left foot, puts it forward. Ryan Dean with a header. Seems to be pushing and shoving. on their unbeaten run. West Ham are going to lose their fourth home game. West Ham. West Ham by Aaron. Dean. To Mullins. Through to uh, Davis. Kept his body between uh, him and Aaron to allow the ball to run out for a goal kick. Discussions on the way home from the Preston supporters who the man of the match was today for, uh, for Preston. But I think you've got to name the ball as man of the match. They've all been superb. And uh, Bello comes on for Stockdale, so one of Pardew throwing a forward on. Bella on loan, Neil Bella. 21-year-old Neil Meller on loan from Liverpool for a season, getting some experience at uh, this level. Sort of the Man City, Ian Meller. And down the line, let's keep it uh, deep in the West Ham territory. Certainly, the help, the assistance of the West Ham doctors certainly made sure that uh, Preston captain has stayed the distance as Cresswell. Might get round uh, Pierce. That line of three now is uh, West Ham. Starting off from another move, Carrick to Mella. Netherington coming from deep, taking on Alexander. And he really got past Graham once, and that was when uh, West Ham scored after 19 minutes. Since then, everything has been tightened up on the uh, flying winger. It's Ferdinand. Gone down, and uh, one of Preston players that got a one up there was a late challenge. Or is he good over his ankle? But uh, Andrew Ballerstone's there with him. <laughs> it's a friendly tap from uh, <laughs> Jamaican friend uh, Ricardo Fuller. It's going to knock most people out. Man, you're uh, Claude Davis. What a tremendous game he's had. I think he made it just with a cramp there, just been suffering a little bit from the cramp. It's in the road. Leaning on the uh, 
Followers of David Ailey, the uh, scorer of Preston's second goal. Brian O'Neill, never mind being a pillar, he said, get over there and defend this uh, strider run. Lord Davis still not looking too comfortable. And I think we're going to see a substitution for the big man. Dixon, the two are there, I'm sure. Dixon will come in and Michael Carrick having words with the referee, saying that he could have gone the quickest way. Maybe they have a point. I'm sure Mr Warren will put any time that's uh, going to be added on onto, the, uh, onto his watch at the moment, pressing it down to ten men. That was a terrible throw. Just moments now for the Preston fans. Whether uh, Claude will be able to continue. Well, it's because he wants to come on, but he's still looking at some discomfort. And Andrew Bolton's going jogging round to give uh, Manager Craig Brown the updates and everything. To what I'm sure at the, uh, the height, if he wants to put anybody else. You know, Tarakis finding uh, Ricardo Fuller. Easy pace to make a challenge to the goal line. Oof, it's a side netting. The day post is well covered by James, and uh, Pierce has gone down injured. So he hurt himself in that challenge. And Pierce looks as if he'd uh, stretched himself there. Physio, this time we've seen him. All well, the Preston fans now, everybody was warm, stood up, and away hear that final whistle. Pierce he got to his feet, and a uh, no stupid ruling football at the moment. The injured player goes off. So, Sometimes made in Cuckoo Land, but the road it's David James, the goalkeeper. So he's trying to get it as far upfield as he can to try and uh, at least get something out of the game. Niketi as well, being the Tarakis back to uh, McKenna. That's McKenna chasing over the far side. Alexander, challenged by Etherington. So Alexander recovers and wins the ball back. McKenna tries to put the ball through. Carrick through a neat footwork. There's a ball upfield. Uh, Davis seems to be recovered now. Howard plays that ball in. Heels. And Mella looking for a penalty, but uh, all he gets for his troubles is a corner. Good defending by Tyrone Mays, who's had a, another one that's had a good game. He's not seen too much of uh, first team football, but he's done a job, he's done a tremendous job. Has all his teammates with him, so not too many more chances now for uh, the home side to try and get back to this game. And that's the corner. Successive corners now, it's down on the far side, Michael Carrick, the second's ticking away. Carrick through near post, Davis with a header. Healy, doing a good job, forcing the ball right deep in the uh, West Ham half with keeper James. How is it fall? Three quarters of the field, but uh, again, a lot of white shirts, and it's uh, a poor pass goes straight through to Jonathan Gould. And I'm sure Preston's going to have to make a substitution now. Davis is still limping badly, not looking happy at all. Tarakis holding the ball up, but uh, robbed by Pierce, who's recovered from his knock. Mullins 
challenged by the big South African. Keeps his balance. Pierce to Harewood, really. Forced deep into his own half. That's a great leap by Brian O'Neill. McKenna scurries to win the, the loose ball. One or two of the uh, West Ham players look a little bit leg weary. Fuller, over on that far side. Calmly back to Alexander. Graham won't rush. Fuller wants to throw off uh, Ferdinand. And as I said, uh, he picks it a two now on the touch line. We take over Claude Davis gingerly. Walking to the touch line. What a great game the big man's had. So from Dixon to two, well, when you look at the, uh, the strength of the, the bench, as you say, that's where you look at a, a team strength. They've not only got it on the pitch, but they've got players that can come on and slot in and look out of place at any time of the game. And that's what uh, Greg Brown and Billy Davis are building here at Preston North End. He's taking too much notice of them, but they're creeping slowly up the table and they will go above West Ham if this result stays as it is. And there's Mears with a challenge. Ferdinand. Carrick. It's Healy. Not thought about playing it back, but uh, gives it away to Harwood. No one fans now looking for a, a late revival, Dean. There with first time ball in. Connolly, so clever there, but uh, there's too many, a lot of white shirts about. Dean plays out to Etherington, corner of the area. Headed on, but, uh, wide of the target. Right, Dean, flashing header. No problem for. Uh, Gould rather, John Gould, and if you, you feel that it's only that uh, save early, very early in the game, uh, you, you, you've got to try and think the last time that uh, Jonathan made the save, he's only been really forced once, couldn't do anything about the goal, but this is Ricardo Full now, can he get a second? Goes down in the area, but uh, the ball trickles through to uh, David James. Closing minutes here, it's uh, Upton Park, and that's a foul. So everybody in a white shirt scurrying back to uh, stop the home side, so it could be uh, almost 21 players in the penalty area at uh, the last few seconds. At West Ham, oh, and it's tipped over by Jonathan Gould, though. He has to be on his toes there, that's a neat header. But Gould simply uh, calmly push it over the bar. Too much concern for the keeper, but going to do some more uh, defending. And that was James coming up. Nobody spotted him as Edrington now. Tell us by Fuller. Pulls it back. The ball bubbling around and it's. Woo! Well, that was almost Carrick scoring his first goal of the season. Just getting there before O'Neill. Michael Carrick almost leveled the scores there. But, uh, Brian O'Neill just did enough on the younger field and that ball just, well, how did that miss the target? The uh, fans behind Jonathan Gould's goal, willing that ball into the back of the net, but it didn't happen. It's back now with James, it's uh, looked for some glory. A couple of moments ago when he came up for that corner. And Cresswell's back now, everybody's helping in defence. That's all about teamwork. The big man battling for the ball, it's McKenna. The engine in the engine room. This is Atiyu taking the ball deep as he can. Well, that didn't seem to be uh, didn't seem to be all out from our position. Daly. And we're well into Tavadon. And that it is. Craig Brown and Alan Pardew 
congratulated each other, tremendous game, Craig Brown salu saluted the supporters, quite rightly so, a superb performance, and that's how the Preston fans are reacting. All standing as one. They've travelled a long way, but it's going to be a long journey back, but it's going to be a happy journey. There it is, Preston North End, proudly flying well. They go above West Ham, at least going to seventh position. The fourth away win of the season. The final score here at Upton Park is West Ham 1, Preston North End 2. Well, quite rightly so, as one man, as one team, they came here and did it. I believe the. Uh, we think that far back, I think October 49 when the, the last one here, but there's Fuller, scoring the equalising goal, being jumped on. Brian O'Neill, what a player. Chris Lecchetti, is so brave. Had an injection at half-time, two injections he had. David Healy, well, we're not going to call him a hero, but he scored the winner. But all the, the players that played out there today, at Upton Park, the heroes. So, as we salute the fans, David Ely, the scorer of the winning goal, takes the claim. But it's Preston North End as a team that takes the claim here at Upton Park. A superb win, tremendous three points.